<laughs> hey gang, there's a noise behind me of some sort. Tomorrow night is Extreme Rules 2017. Oh, aren't you all kinds of excited for that one. Uh, there's actually a few matches that look, you know, pretty good, and uh, hopefully they will be. Um... And a few of them, I just think, wow, seriously. Uh, so let's get the picks out of the way. Um, the main event is, of course, an Extreme Rules five-way winner gets a universal title shot against Brock Lesnar at the next pay-per-view called <sighs> Great Balls of Fire. Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, Samoa Joe, Seth Rollins, and Bray Wyatt. Well, this one's going to be a really tough one to, d to pick. Um, I think we're going to try and go for three out of five picks on that one. Um, well, so far, Samoa Joe has been the only one in WWE who has not held a championship. And if Roman Reigns wins it, then, then there's going to be a big riot over that one. Uh, I'll probably pick Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, or Seth Rollins to win. And then the tag titles are on the line in a steel cage match as the Hardy Boys take on Cesaro and Sheamus. Uh, tough one to call, but I think I'm going to stick with the Hardy Boys on that one. I think they're going to do pretty well and uh, keep the keep the tag titles a little bit longer. Intercontinental title match where the title can change hands on a disqualification. Dean Ambrose takes on the Miz. Well, this one's gonna be a tough one to choose, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say Dean Ambrose will probably keep it somehow, some way, by hook or by crook. I think he'll keep the title. Cruiserweight title submission match as Neville takes on Austin Aries. Uh it's gonna be pretty doggone interesting. Um I think the cruiserweight division is an underrated division. And uh, I think they're really going to give it their all in this match. And um, um, But um, Austin Aries, I guess. Uh, women's title, kendo stick on a pole as Alexa Bliss defends her title against Bailey. I think Alexa Bliss is going to keep it in a Vince Russo style promoted match and in a mixed tag match uh, Rich Swan and Sa and Sasha Banks takes on Noam Dar and Alicia Fox um, I'll probably go for uh, Rich and Sasha on that one um, so, so quite a line up there huh gang <laughs> Uh, the five-way Extreme Rules match, its it, it, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun on paper, but I think ultimately uh, we're probably not going to see a lot of blood. We're going to see some a lot of you know, cringeworthy moments, um, but probably not see any steel chairs being used. So, yeah, it, can, it could be a throwaway match, I suppose. Uh, tag title steel cage, I think that's going to be one of the show stealers of that one. Uh, and I, I, th I think all four of these guys are going to really give it their all, make it as suspenseful as they can, and also as crazy as they can. Intercontinental title, where the title can change hands on a disqualification, and that's probably one of the stupidest rules they come up with. One of the I, mean, I mean, this is supposed to be extreme rules, where it's supposed to be every match is where the rules are thrown out the window, and they give us this, and it's like... Yeah, way to try to make this rivalry between Dean Ambrose and The Miz sound somewhat interesting. So, yeah, that's that's a match I would probably pass on because it's ridiculous. Uh, Cruiserweight title submission match, like I said, I think it's going to be a real show-stealing match there. Um, I think it's going to be very interesting to see what these two can pull out and, and uh, keep a lot of fans on the edge of their seats. So that one's going to be a good one. A women's title kendo stick on a pole for crying out loud. They couldn't have come up with anything else. Of course, then again, they could have put the women's title on a pole, on a pole, and that would have been even. No, no, that wouldn't have that would have been half as bad. I mean, it it probably would have been made for a bit better of a match, but seriously, kendo stick on a pole. Last time I remember that happening was between a. Uh, 
the Sandman and Carlito, I believe it, uh, either The Bash or The Great American Bash from about, what, eight, nine, ten years ago. God, that was stupid, too. Mixed tag match, um, again, I guess just going to be under regular rules. So again, another Extreme Rules pay-per-view where they're not giving you what, what they're trying to promise you, which is anything goes in these matches, because obviously it's not. And there have been a lot of really lame Extreme Rules matches. And Monday, I'm going to try and be back here, and I think I'll give you guys my picks for the worst Extreme Rules matches. And if there were some bad ones from this one, which I get a pretty good feeling there's going to be a couple of them, I'll probably add them to the list. So, yeah. I uh, want to get some shout-outs to some uh, some YouTubers. hope you guys will go check out. Uh, some of these have have done their picks. And uh, a few of these I hope you guys will go check out and uh, subscribe to. So please go check out Will's World, Danny Nightmare, Title Match Wrestling, Brett Robb, What Culture Wrestling, WrestleMania, and Rain Q. So, I hope you guys go check out those channels and subscribe to them. And, of course, if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. And, again, I'll be back here on Monday with the results. And I'm not really quite looking forward to a lot of these matches to, to have to go over. But, who knows? This might be a pretty good event. No. I mean, payback was awful. And they're already making this look like it's going to be pretty bad, too. So, yeah. If you want to, uh, if you'd like to leave your comments down below about, um, about who your picks are on this one, please do. And I'll see you guys back here on Monday. If you like my videos, always feel free to su subscribe. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.